Hi everybody, welcome to Audacious Devotionals. Um, I'm Dave Adams, uh, part of the Manchester Central uh, campus. Um, I run a small group and also I teach in the Bible College, which is a great privilege. Uh, this morning I'd like us to think of some statements from John's Gospel. And we, what we, we, we call these the I am statements, and there are seven of them. And they're pretty famous, so let's just read down the list. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Jesus said, I am the gate. In some translations, it says door. Uh, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, I am the true vine. Wow. Uh, you know, seven absolutely brilliant uh, statements that Jesus makes uh, and are recorded for us in John's Gospel. Now, if we could go back to New Testament times when Jesus w was talking to people and making these statements, we would suddenly realise that all of a sudden there's a shock horror moment. What on earth is Jesus saying? Listeners will be absolutely scandalised uh, because Jesus is introducing each one of these phrases with the words, I am. Now, I am is the Hebrew name for God. Um, it was given by God to Moses. Moses asked Jesus, who shall I say has sent me? And, G, uh, uh, and God says to, uh, to Moses, tell them that I am sent you. Uh, and uh, in the Hebrew language, it, it's written down as Yahweh. Um, and Yahweh is always translated uh, in the Old Testament as L-O-R-D, Lord. And it's written in block capitals. So next time you are reading your Old Testament and you see Lord, look to see if it's written in, uh, in capitals. If it's written in capitals, it's the word Yahweh that is being translated. Um, if it's written in sm with a capital L and, and small letters, or sometimes just small letters, it comes from a different word. Uh, where you've got Lord in block capitals, it is an actual I am statement. So the Old Testament is absolutely cram full of I am statements. Well, coming back to John's Gospel, uh, Jesus is claiming to be God when he says I am. He is the great I am. Wow. Um, and of course, Jesus is God. Um, when you look at these statements, in every one of them, the first two words that you have is this, I am. And I am always comes first. And there is a real challenge uh, for you. Um, and it's a challenge for me as well. Do I put God first? Uh, in every one of the statements, God is first. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world, um, etc. And. Um, and today, I, I, I don't know what you are going to face or what you have faced already. Um, but the important thing is always put God first. It might be a great day. It might be a, a day of, of, of relaxation and rest. It might be a day of challenge. It might be a day of ill health. It might be a day of bad news. It might be a day of bills coming through the, the post that you don't want. But the challenge is to put God first first um i've got i've got a friend um and uh, he's a great great gospel preacher and he uses uh, he uses an, an illustration that i always like and it's a simple illustration but it's about getting the first things right and uh, he gives this illustration um, of fastening a shirt or a blouse and you always begin with a button and uh, he always used to say this, that if you get the first button wrong, then every other button that you do will be wrong. You've got to get the beginning right. And this is the challenge. And our challenge is that we need to start first with God, to put him first today in what you're doing and to choose to live life his way. 
Well, you know, all the I, state, I am statements, lots of them come with a promise. Uh, the, you know, the promise, I am the light of the world. Pro Jesus says we're not going to walk in darkness if we, fo if we follow him. Um, I am the gate. We can come in and out and, and get, get past you. Uh, or, uh, tr tremendous statements. But, you know, the way to get into the promise is to put God first. And if you put God first, then it will bring the promises alive to you today. Hey, let's just pray. Father, I want to thank you, Lord, for the, for the day uh, that's before us or the day that we've lived already. And uh, I pray, Lord, for grace, Lord, to always put you first um, and to see you at work. We just bless you in the mighty name of Jesus for all your goodness and for all your grace. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening this morning. God bless you.